in hotels and things like that and he'd go back into the prison what are you talking about i mean it's literally i was just in a chokehold i'm not shibushiga shiga burantaranta yeah but he's involved in all of this and we're just like but only papa that kind of stuff movie that and the other and we're starting to learn stories about these these people like both of them right and it's just like but only now we forgot about load shedding. We forgot about our problems. And for raw reason, I mean, you know, there's certain things that you must find questionable. There's certain things you must find questionable uh, uh, showed up in court for the first time. Man, I found myself saying, yo, 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 but wamdim, yo, but home, yo, but home, papa, yo, but home, nandi, pa, yo. I don't have a victim, me. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I wanted to do something a little bit on the interesting side today because we have been on a chokehold because of this couple, my darling. Um, so in the last couple of weeks, oh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Uh, this is going to be my final video for the day. And for this one, I decided to take a drink because this one it's hectic so in the co past couple of weeks south africa has been in a chokehold because of this bonnie and clyde part five you know dr nandy and mr tarbo bester situation now if you do not know and you're watching this from a different country there are so many videos i know christina randall has done a video on on tabo bester and dr nandipa and she is big she's literally huge and she does true crime videos i'll see if i can link her video down below but in my instance i just wanted us to have a chat about it because this is nuts okay this is literally a movie about to happen we are we are going to be in real time witnessing a production of a movie and then we're going to see it we're either going to see it on netflix we are going to see it on some sort of streaming site guys because what a wow what a wow so if you do not know uh south africa has literally been in a chokehold because of this dr nandipa and tabo bester situation so just to give you a kind of like high level really not that much detail because i'm not a true crime uh youtuber and all of that you can find these stories online and news outlets and all of that essentially we have a gent his name is tabo bester okay and so the country has known tabo bester to be a guy who was convicted for Oring women, okay, a very serial artist, and also was convicted for murdering a woman as well. So we knew him to be in prison. This is what we know, right? We knew him to be in prison. He was locked up. Great for his victims. Great that he was away and gone from the streets. Now, suddenly, in 20, so excuse me about that. Now, suddenly, in news start coming out right now the south african public was mostly made aware of this this year right in march of this year we have dr nandipa who is a dermatologist gorgeous woman just beautiful smart and all of this and now she's tied to tabo besta so now sometime last year I think around the May or June period in last year, a fire breaks out in Tabo Bester's cell in the Mangaung prison, which is a privately owned um, prison in Bloemfontein in South Africa. And this prison is owned by a, a, a company called G4S. So he, a fire breaks out, an explosion goes off in his cell. His cell happens to be conveniently located where there's a blind spot in, you know, the cameras and all of that. So an explosion breaks out and someone dies. Someone gets burned to death. Someone dies. Everybody's thinking it's Toby Bester. Turns out, fast forward and all of these things that are happening, turns out it wasn't Tabo Bester. The unfortunate situation is that it was a young man by the name of Katlejo who 
is originally from Bloemfontein. Now, we find this out after autopsies have been done and when we realize that, no, the body was already placed in this prison cell, he had already passed away. There was blunt force trauma to his head and he'd already passed away. Katlejo had already passed away when they placed him in the cell. So now we're wondering, where's Tabu Besta? Because Katlejo was also considerably much shorter than Tabu Besta. So when these autopsies were done, they realized that no, 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 this doesn't quite match. So now the South African police service is starting to investigate this. We don't know much about the situation while all these things are happening. Now, this is last year. Now, we start finding out about it. The South African public starts finding out about it in March this year when we start realizing that, no, 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 this person has been on the run and someone, some wonderful person in the world decides to take a picture of Dr. Nandipa and not necessarily who she was with, but conveniently he fit into that image as well. She takes a picture of Dr. Nandipa and lo and behold, Dr. Nandipa is with Mr. Tabu Bester himself. This woman sends this picture out to a friend and the friend is like, no, 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 no. This is this person. And only then we start being revealed to the life of Tabo Besta, the life of Tabo and what he had done and the pseudo companies that he had created with Dr. Nandipa that embezzled millions and millions from people and also his, his, his modeling agency that he created as a show face kind of company where he would lure women in and steal from them and also assault them in certain cases. These things were happening when he was out of the prison. So these things were happening when he was out. After this explosion, this, this death, Yaga Tabo Pesta, only to find out that it's not Tabo Beaster. So now we're starting to find out all these things and then we realize that, oh, okay, once this picture comes out, the South African public is like, what in the, what in the Bonnie and Clyde is going on here? Because Dr. Nandipa is known as this really beautiful, very successful woman who was married and, you know, has, is living a very lavish lifestyle. I'm talking Porsches and Ferraris and this and that and the other, right? So you're just like, oh my God, you know? How is he linked with the doctor? What is going on? And then as we're watching the news and things are unfolding, we realize that, no, they actually knew each other from way back when. And Dr. Nandipa started writing Tabu Bester letters while he was in the prison. And actually, because Tabu Bester has clearly got connections in the prison, which has now been quite established with the court proceedings and everything that's been happening, was that he's got connections in the prison that actually helped him leave the prison in certain instances to have, you know, a, a rendezvous with Dr. Nandipa at certain hotels and things like that, and he'd go back into the prison. What are you talking about? I mean, it's literally... I was just in a chokehold. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was just like, what is this? Now, all these things are coming out. People are coming out with videos of, no, man, I was with this guy last week and he was talking to me about this and investing in this and this and this. And people are saying he had this huge company called Century 21 where he was a known by the name of Tom Mutsipe and he was the chairman of this company where they would embezzle money from other people and they created another company with, with, with uh, Dr. Nandipa together called Orem Properties or something like that. And they, it was a pseudo construction company where they would take money from people and actually not even do the projects at all. So they were embezzling, aiding, abetting, all that kind of stuff. Movie. That's all I have to say, right? So I'm sitting here thinking, what in the world? So now these stories are coming out that Tabu Besta and, 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 and Dr. Nandi Pai, hey, this has happened. And uh, you're hearing cases of people who have died at the hands of Dr. Nandi Pai and Tabu Besta and insurance policies and monies that have come out, corpses that have, you know, they, they've been payments of corpses that have come out for like around 1.5 million per corpse. Like, it's nuts. It's nuts. It's, it's literally twist after twist after twist after twist. And you're sitting there thinking, huh? 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 
the whole time you're just in so much shock, right? So then, latest, then they es they escapade the country, right? So they leave the country. They they run. They are now fugitives, right? So they are coming out of the country and they leave and they drive up towards uh, Kenya and Tanzania and all of that. So as they're doing all of that, they're with someone else, um, an accomplice of theirs as well. But they eventually, look, I don't know the details, eventually they get caught, okay? They get caught in Tanzania and then they are expatriated back into the country. So as they come back into the country, this is where we're learning more information, okay? This is where we are learning that Dr. Nandipa's father is also involved in all this mess. Okay, he is involved in all this wishiwashi, bushiga, shiga, burantaranta. Yeah, he's involved in all of this. And we're just like, but only papa, hey, papa, joanyanu, not papa. So anyway, we're finding out about this house in Hyde Park that she rented and Dr. Nandipa having left her husband for this guy, this, this murderer, this, this serial artist and all of this. What in the world? You know, now we're starting to come across Tabo Besta's history and how he grew up and his mother is now on the news talking about him and this and that and the other. And we're starting to learn stories about these, the, these people, like both of them, right? And it's just like, Patong Lena, what is going on? So we were all in, <laughs> all of us, okay? South Africans, Twitter, the news, we forgot about load shedding. We forgot about our problems. We genuinely, genuinely forgot about our problems. We forgot about load shedding. We forgot about, we forgot about the, the state of the country right now. We forgot about Palapala. We forgot about stuff and we were focused. We had zeroed in on Tabo Besta and Dr. Nandipa and it was nuts. So they were expatriated back into the country and they come back into the country and then we find out that there's people from the prison who were involved in helping uh, Tabu Besta escape. Why am I saying Tabu? Tabu Besta escape from the country and uh, escape from the prison and then we're finding out Nandipa's connections to all of this and it's wild. So I had my thoughts on the whole thing, but I wanted to know what your thoughts were. So I put it on Instagram and I was like, guys, I'd really love it if you shared your thoughts with me. Let's get into your thoughts because I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> okay, so this lady says, at what point was she going to say she was wrong? She's clearly sick as he is. Now, I'm going to leave my opinions to the end because from the jump, I had very different opinions about Nandipa. Uh, Tabo Pesta, you don't even have to have an opinion on him. He's, he's a murderer and he's a serial artist and that's that on that, okay? He shouldn't have escaped. The only questions that I had was who is connected, who is helping him? That's it, okay? So that's fine. I agree with the, with this lady here who says that some some contour off Yaif Yaif contour off Munandipa contour off I agree I agree um, so this lady says for me it's me it's a lesson to never ever want someone's life because you don't know what they go through also being greedy won't take you anywhere learn to be content with what you have catch me outside i feel like she knew what she was getting herself into i only feel sorry for her kids and the pri pretty privilege played a part as well i mean she's a gorgeous gorgeous girl she's a gorgeous gorgeous girl but absolutely true i i literally think that if this wasn't a case in point example of do not want someone's life especially if you're watching them online or if it's someone influential or this and you think oh my god look at those cars look at this life look at this 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 lavish and uh, lavish living and all of that and you're actually not quite sure how they're making this kind of money? How they afford? I mean, dermatologists affording Porsches and 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 and, and lavish regular trips all over the the world and and Ferraris and I mean, you know, there's certain things that you must find questionable. There's certain things you must find questionable. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I definitely agree with this young lady. And I also agree by also saying um, she knew what she was getting herself into. You are not going to. You are not going to write to somebody who is in a jail, okay? 
you're not going to write to somebody who is in a prison niche and then be like, no, I don't know. I just fell in like a rara here. What? I just fell in love? Little bad. Njani. And someone that you know is in jail for these reasons and being a serial artist and you're going to bring him amongst your kids? You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Okay. They must experience the full might of the law. I do not feel sorry for Nandipa. Neither do I. Neither do I. Look, I won't even lie. When she went into court, I'll try and see if I can put in clips and all of that so you can see. But when she uh, uh, showed up in court for the first time, man, Mamata Dr. Nandipa, are you okay? Ah! Hey, my girl. <laughs> never third never third nandi nice is under a spell and hector uh, hector nandi nice is under a spell and Bester has a hectic hold over her life even from varsity i absolutely disagree i feel like oh maybe she had a crush on him or whatever from varsity days and whatever but once you start hearing the stories about how she wrote to him while he was in prison and you start hearing the voice notes of how he treated her and you start hearing the this, the this and blah, blah, blah. But she still continued because it meant that she was living a certain kind of life and lifestyle. Catch me outside. No, no. Uh, there's just so much going on. Yo, yo, yo. Listen, I found myself saying yo, yo, yo. But wam dim. Yo, but Yo. The only person I'm really not surprised at any of this happening is Toby Bester. I'm not surprised because Mr. Clyde is... <coughs> Mangawung is one of the most secure, well-protected, well-guarded, but now, of course, it's in the limelight for something else now because we're seeing a whole lot of corruption happening in Manga Wung, and it's about who you know and who you can pay off, and if you have the money, you can do it and you can get out. Yeah, understand? But it's known to be one of the high-security, maximum security, tight, tight-knit prisons in the country. And because of that, the G4S people had to... Uh, 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 they had to comment on the fact that how did this actually happen? If any of you saw Glynis Breitenbach go for the G4S people, it was a show, Ntwana. It was a movie. I loved it. I loved it so much. I have an axe. Do you think it was all because of love or money? Because what about money? I really don't think you are going to stay in a place where you are degraded, barraged, abused literally just you are a nothing you are a nothing when you know that you're a doctor and you can actually you've had a good life before this person but you choose to stay you're staying because of the money that that it's right here i think we underestimated nandipa she weighed her options and she did what she had to do absolutely correct so she's basically saying what does nandipa's dad why is he inserting him in the business of his his daughter and her her relationship because money like i i really feel like there's nothing complicated about what is happening here money will make people do the craziest things. But you must also have some level of vile and sickness to you to actually kill people, to actually steal corpses from prison cells, ugh, to actually steal corpses, kill people and all of that, just so that you can make money from that and actually get your murderer, serial RS person, boyfriend, thing, husband, whatever you want to call him, out of jail? Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. No. Mm -mm. Honestly, Konok Shaya Manzi, and it's about time that everything gets unfolded for us. So she's basically saying, honestly, there's something off, Konin Dwe off, and it's about time that things get unfolded. And slowly but surely, every single day, there's something new. Like there's new people getting implicated. There's new uh, uh, people who worked for the prison, the warders and the G4S people, the guy who worked on the cameras and all of that. They're getting implicated. So day by day, there's something new with regards to this case. And it is absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Sure. Um, dear friends, 
at her birthday party, please stand up. We want to hear from you. What did you know? So another thing that kept on coming out was that her friends knew a lot about what is going on with Nandipa and the relationship that she has with Tabo Pesta. And now the whole country, the whole country, it's in a chokehold because we want to know. Tell us what is going on because we want to be able to support you. <laughs> Shame my opinions don't make any sense. I don't even know where to start. I don't even think my opinions make sense. I literally feel like I'm ranting here because I can't put this together in a way in which I can articulate it properly. If I was somebody who did true crime videos, because I love true crime and I love following like channels like Coffee House Crime and 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 Tend to Life with Annie Elise and uh, what's her name, Christina Randall. I love watching their videos, but I can never bring myself to articulate myself as well as they do. So I could never do a crime channel, but I love 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 following these things the doctor honestly inspired me i look up to her as a successful black female mara yo i don't know if i would look up to somebody like this but okay <laughs> i've honestly run out of yours that is me like i hear the chat now nah, you can love somebody but <laughs> Hey, you can't tell me Hori, this this love of money and this love of things and whatever is so great on your end that you are willing to 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 continue this kind of lifestyle to live this kind of life all because of a money no 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 uh 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 I wish she was a YouTuber, man. The story time would bang. <laughs> or, can she, or she can share it with Naledi just so that Naledi can deliver. It's crazy, okay? It's one of the craziest, craziest criminal stories that I have d encountered in a very, very, very long time. Uh, love, in love is blind if indeed this is love. I do not think it is. I genuinely think that Nandipa knew what she was doing. Nandipa genuinely knew what she was getting herself into. Um, Tabo Besta, I think, on his end, Nandipa was just the, you know, she was on the road to helping him get out, to helping him do this, to helping him do this. I don't think he cared for her in that manner where we can actually say, oh my gosh, he loved her and all of this. And the reason why I say that is because when you watch some of his interviews where he was being interviewed by the psychiatrist in the prison all those years ago, the things that he said, it's truly the mind of someone who is just wild up in here. And for me, nah, I don't think it was a love thing on his end. I think she was just a catalyst in the, in the way of, of, not in the way, but along his path of leaving jail and living that life and having someone who's going to support him the whole way. I really don't necessarily think that it's love on his end. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. I just want a Netflix special on this because, sure, it's still a developing story, so I'll wait, but I really want a Netflix special. I couldn't agree with you more. I couldn't agree with you more. I just found myself saying, why, Nandipa, why? I didn't. At no point. I remember having a conversation with my sister, and my sister was like, no, but she could have been a victim. She was a victim. I'm like, she was not. She was not. She was not. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Honorable victim, me. How honorable victim, me, that it's going to take bodies and make, kill people and throw bodies, the John Doe's, in rivers because they are not serving your purpose. And what, there is no right minded person who will do such a thing. Have you seen that video of the private investigator who was asking her that, oh my gosh, um, the, that video, man, of the private investigator who was asking her about the car and the debt of the car. She, her face was too... She was literally like... Mm, mm. She continued eating. You must be a level of... I don't care a damn. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. You must be a level of delusional. To actually keep such a straight face when you're being asked about a car that you haven't paid for, 700K worth, and, oh no, I'll just speak to the person. Mm. I'll just, what? You've gotta be kidding me, no ways. 
the way I'm such a coward, I could never, but these bad boys are hot. Look, I, I wouldn't go as far as calling Toby Bester hot, but uh, yeah, I could never, I could never. And it's not even just because I'm a coward, just because, no, if, if people's lives are involved, this person uh, 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 has victims of women that he has hurt and assaulted and a woman who has died at his hands and he still didn't even in his interview he didn't see anything wrong with that he was like no things just got out of hand and whatever I'm sir where no man no 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 the guy must have used muti on her i just don't get it a whole doctor it's sad she's got kids man but because of mjola she loses a whole life and a career but why because she wanted to at that point she wasn't thinking about her children at that point she was thinking about living a lavish life at that point she was thinking hurry they'll never find out she probably knows about tabo tom's beats whatever connections to very high level people and she thought that they would always get away with it because there's definitely a connection with some high level people here let's not even lie about it okay all right so i was actually worried with them coming back into the country that if these two spill the beans would they even get as far as spilling the beans because um what if they are taken out before they even get a chance to spill the beans. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Tabo Pesta was actually saying in the prison that, you know what, he doesn't even eat because he feels like people would want to get him killed. Duh! <laughs> what do you mean? But I think that the people who would want to get him killed are people that don't want him spilling the beans, are people that are connected to this and do not want him caving in any way shape or form when dr nandi and um tabo was were expatriated back into the country and and when she came off one they chartered a plane why i had the same question as linus breitenbach who asked why was a plane chartered because there are many convicts criminals and all of that who have been expatriated from other countries back to their country of origin and have used commercial flights why was a plane chartered and i'm trying to understand what was the conversation in that plane with all the people who went there to go get them on a private plane what was what was being discussed in the plane and then on top of that she gets out of the plane she's not in handcuffs nothing nothing Freely walking, they, yeah, they've got her surrounded, sure, but freely walking. Then she goes into court and she's wearing a ring. And as far as we know, okay, this is, I think she was wearing that ring as her loyalty to Toby Bester and her loyalty to her husband, or whatever. But at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, you can't be wearing a ring when you go into a jail, guys. They take everything from your earrings. And if they take your earrings, they take anything that could be a problem. They take your shoelaces, anything you could, someone could use to escape or harm anyone else or all of that. How is she wearing a ring? Why doesn't she have uh, 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 cuffs and things on her, on her legs, on her feet and on her hands? This is wild. And this is where I feel like it's that, is that pretty privilege, is that money thing playing a, 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 a huge thing because she was being compared to Rosemary and Nandlovo. She was being compared to Rosemary and Dovo, who we know is yay. Yeah, I understand. But now Rosemary didn't get the same reception. Rosemary was a, was a, was a police officer even, you know, but she didn't get the same reception as Dr. Nandipa received. And when Rosemary showed up in court a week or two weeks ago, she showed up in court and she was wearing makeup and lashes. And everyone was like, how, how is this possible? Nye, nye, nye. Okay, but how is it possible that Dr. Nandipa rocked up wearing her ring? And she wasn't cuffed and nothing. It's a lot of questions. <laughs> It's a lot of questions. I really wanted to do this video because I think, look, outside of me being a true crime person, this story has got the country gripped and I wanted us to really <laughs> have a chat about it because it's absolutely positively 
wild completely wild um, i'd love to hear your thoughts if you did enjoy this video if you would like me to have rant sessions about certain things cases anything you might want me to give you an opinion on <laughs> definitely uh, let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for being here i do appreciate you guys oh so 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 much and i'm gonna go thank you for choosing me please like the video and subscribe to the channel um you're not gonna see these kinds of videos much but i this one was one for the books we really needed to have a chat about this one and uh, i'd love to know what you think let me know down below and i'm gonna go until the next video i'll see you very very soon until then Sayonara.